Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV and welcome to 2016 or could be known as the year of AMD Zen. Now speaking of Zen, we are expecting to see AM4 platform motherboards start dropping in the March area featuring the Bristol Ridge APUs which are Carrizo derivative. They're not going to be Zen. Zen is slated to come later on in the year. So for now we'll get some AM4 motherboards, we'll get some fresh APUs that again are Carrizo based if rumors tell us correctly. Now thanks to Twitter user Blue is Violet, we've seen some slides and leaked uh, from papers showing the roadmap and how the new APUs are planning to feature high bandwidth memory. Now something big to keep in mind on the slide that we see, it shows high bandwidth memory on AMD's Zen based APUs at 128 gigabytes per second. If you do the math on that, that roughly equates to one gigabyte of HBM Gen 1. Now that is kind of a big deal because if you also look next to that, it's showing that it can also pull memory from your system. So paired with a solid one gig of HBM and then a secondary pull in your DDR4, since the AM4 platform will support DDR4 and these APUs will as well, you could see the ability to utilize more than one gigabyte when required. Of course, it'll be at a slower speed. It'll be the DDR4 speed versus the HBM. Now it also shows shows here a, an increase in compute units. Now the big thing here is the existing Kaveri architecture features 512 stream processors. Now we're plan the, the plan is to move to a Greenland uh, based GPU on the APUs. So this is just speculation based on what we've seen and what we know about the way the Radeon architecture works and the way the compute units are structured. It's very likely we could see the higher end APUs featuring 768 stream processors. More is possible, but I'm going with the idea of 768. And that would roughly put it on par, well, it actually would put it on par with stream processor count as the Radeon R7 360. And the big deal there is, is now we're looking at discrete level good gaming experience on just an APU. And based on the TDP measures that these chips are shooting for, we could see an extremely competitive laptop and mobile marketing scene develop out of this, which would be really good for AMD as well as the end user because it's not a whole lot of options in that space at the moment. So in the end, it's no longer a secret. You can expect to see high bandwidth memory on an APU. So. We look forward to seeing more out of this and stay tuned to WCCF Tech TV for more news and reviews and we'll catch you guys in the next video.